So I push the. Okay, ready. The you know the line over here. Okay, ready. Come, go on. Okay, good. So yeah, these are also the Aldo box are good uniform. Uh, these are uh, 14 ounces. Uh, some people say, uh, can I get a, a six ounce uniform so I don't sweat as much? No, no, no. You, you want to sweat as much as you can. And uh, having a light uniform uh, just makes you feel good, but not to not sweat. Hard, hard to explain. Yeah. So when we have heavy, heavy dobak, some like some of my friends, one of my good friends, he has a, he teaches jujitsu, and he has like 16, 18 ounce uniform. Dobak gi, uh, Dobak Korean, uh, uh, Japanese gi, uh, Brazil, Brazil gi. So, but these are uh, 14 ounce and it's good to have a light one sometimes, but you still have to keep that same intensity. If you if you practice hard, you're practicing, you're kicking hard, you're, you're practicing, and then you sweat a lot quick with these, these uh, 14 ounce, because this is old school wherever they come from and then the, the new school the v-necks they're beautiful and uh, even even i wear them sometimes but as long as you keep the same intensity and you're dripping sweat like that that's what it's all about so the tradition you you take your dobak off and you, you ring out your dobak and you say look sister look brother look mom and dad and you have sweat all over the floor yeah. so anyways time to change Okay, this will be a warm up exercise. To me, Opsugi! Okay, here, ready. Today we're doing doubles. Down block, middle punch. Yeah, today's focus is speed and lightness. Yeah. Ready. Hot! Sometimes you don't have to step either. Here. Up. Up. This is beginner. Intermediate. Still it's a lift. Still it's a lift. Still it's a lift. The dance students always will go here. To create an outside to an upper block at an angular here. Turning, middle punch, cross, back. Five count. Yeah. Okay, come. Hello! One, two,
Basic hand tending. One more, up. Okay, you can stand there. Yes, sir. Okay, this time here. I'm gonna show you how the crescent kick. Crescent kick. Crescent kick, you're striking the side of the foot here. Side of the foot here. Your hip will turn. It's very important to turn the hip. Turn, turn the hip here. Turn out here. Out. This leg will go up. Out. Crescent kick. Here. This leg will go up. Out. Crescent kick. And you'll land into a Front stance. Here. Out. Crescent kick. Here. Out. Crescent kick. Okay. Here. So I better go here. Right foot for left foot back. Hey! Just like that. Kicking hand. And then, twist, go! And you come back. Here, leg go up, up! Leg go up, twist, up! That's a crescent kick. Inside crescent kick, very important. Not to go past the lead foot. Here. Good stance on these now. So here. Don't go straight here. Bend your knee. Here. Don't go past leg. Don't kick the soccer ball like that. You see? When you kick, you go inside. Stop the circle here. You see I'm stopping here. Inside here. Out back here. Inside here. Out back here. Inside here, see how it's going around, like this here. So when you're here, body square. Now open up more. Put right hand here. Touch the inside of your knee. Don't kick past that part. Control. Inside kick is harder than outside kick. Here, one more time. Ear, you see how the ear is here? And the inside leg is here. Because I have a stance here. If I go here, no. Here, straight, here. Now, the body could be here. See a hip, up body here, one, and, and your body go right up here. Two, and, and, three, and, four, and, five, and, and, I mean, those are crescent kicks. Side kick. When you do side kick here, right foot back. Turn foot. Lift at a side technique here. Control. Turn your body out and back. Here. Turn your foot. Lift up here. Side. You can go half. This is called half side kick. Bend the knee here. Turn bottom foot around more. Bring your foot up. Side kick out. And bring back here. Then body go here. Then body will go up in one action here. Out. Out. And you'll land here. Then you'll come back. Body will go up. Here. Bend your knee up. As high as you can here, time it. Now the leg will go back, then you'll lift your foot, kick out, and you'll land forward here. Those are called side kicks. So that's what we'll cover today. And to me, jump to you. Um, 
to breathe it out. Okay, now I'll have a student demonstrate some of those. Okay. Okay, ready. This will be a four count. Ready to be. Only four. Obstacle. Okay, first you're gonna do is an outside crescent kick. That's the easier one to do. Okay, ready? Trying to kick your hand, which is hard to do. One. Control. Bring it down a little bit. Ready. Three. Three. Okay. Using the hips. Ready. And last one. Four. Three. There you go. Change feet. Okay. Now we'll do the one inside crescent kick. Yeah. Number. Hand here. See how it goes here. Touching here. Going down. Touching the inside knee. See how it's aligned? So if you keep the hand here, you won't go past your leg. Don't go past your leg. The hand will be up. You cannot go past your leg. Show past your leg. You can't do that. The, the body won't move properly. So, so everybody touch your ear. Now touch inside knee. Once again, up and here. So you go up and you slap back here. It's called inside crescent. Yep. Ready? Hana. Ready? Three more. Two. Side. Go shoulder up. Ready? Three. Side. And four. Side. Okay. Switch feet. Ready? Now she's measuring. Measuring inside. Good. So the back leg just step out. Back leg just steps out. You see the shoulder up. Shoulder will score up when you start up. Don't go back too early. Stay here. Right before the kick, you bring your leg out, and then this leg here will spring here. That part here. That part here. So when you're straight, the body here, then when this leg comes up, and it'll automatically go in. Yeah. Okay. Ready. This is a loose tension fashion, not tight. Ready? One. Two. Two. This part doesn't move much. Roundhouse kick needs a little bit more. Side kick, it's a square. You see? This is a part that controls all your kicks if you want power. Today, speed though. So here, the body will turn as you lift with control. See here? That's what you need here. Now, here's hard part. Decide if you're going to go half. And then kick body up here, out, and down. Or as your knee goes up here, turn body more here, up. See how the whole body using hands here? Lift here and lean back a little bit. And then the side kick go right up. And then here. Okay, side kick, three count. Ready? Hana. Deep breath, two, and three, switch feet, ready, switch feet, switch feet, switch feet, deep breath, switch feet, ready, side kick, ready, go, yuck chuggy, hana, a good medium kick is good, yes sir, ready, 
Kick here, yeah. Crescent kick here. Ah! One, two, three, four. Ready. Down. One, two, three. Here. Ah! Hey! One, two, three, four. Ready. Uh, three times. basic technique. It's only Monday. Control. Strong feet. Jumbi, the heels should get very close together. Jumbi is not like that. Psychic difficult. Turn. Now bring your front kick up. This is secret to psychic. Now angle it here. Now as your body turn, it'll lift right up like that. Yep. Oi. Up. Ah. Here. Ay. Two. Side crescent kick, outside crescent kick, left foot. Net. Good. Right foot forward. Very good. Ready. Remember, don't pass here. That's why I said to do the first kick crescent. So everybody, it's very important. Touch the side of your face. Touch the inside of your knee. Inside and here. Okay. So here, no kick in the hand, we're just going to go one, two. Yeah. One, two. So we'll come back a little bit for camera person here. Right to the middle, please. Ready. So here. Ready. Here. Inside. Kick. Up. Ow. Outside kick. Ow. One. Ois. Ois. Two. Ois. Ois. Three, two more, hunt, hey, hey, one more, hunt, hey, hey, change it up, ready, hunt, hey, hey, two, hey, hey, there you go, so as you 
Take it one spot here. Three. Hey. Hey. One more. This way has a separation. Yeah. So here, separation, here, body. Ay! Yeah. Outside hip here. Ay! And it's light. Yes, sir. Whole body go around like that. Yes, sir. Try two times. Yeah. Ready. Ideas to uh, make this part level, flat. Yeah. Flat. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Whole body position here. Keep pain in the leg, put it in your arms here. Oh. Hey. Ten seconds to go. Oh. Low. Low. Flat. Nine o'clock, three o'clock on the clock. Oh. And back. Here. Other side. Hop. Leg straight. Shoulder square. Knee is together with the elbow. Don't put your knee over here. Try. Don't go like that. Yes, it makes it easier sometimes, but no. Your knee goes back. Straight. You see the knee and the shoulder are aligned here. Elbow, knee, like that. Don't bring the knee in. To have that leg go like that, right? Yeah. Don't bring the leg out to make it easier to have see it doesn't work. So you line it up, there you go. And you want this part to be straight. So now it's just rested like this here, here. Okay, let's hold for a 30 second count. Yeah. Just for lightning too. Ten seconds hold. Yeah. And sometimes don't look too far out. 
If you guys have TV in front of you, don't look at the TV. Visualize where your energy is going to be. If you look too far out, you'll lose the senses on the body. But when you're holding here, you're looking here in front of your technique. If you look out, your body will daydream because you don't, you're too far away. So look at your own hand in here and you'll see you'll, you'll feel stronger. Yeah. Hold it. And back, good, good. Here, ready. Horse stand, up, up. Holding horse stands here. Flat. Body straight, here, flat. Flat body here, see, flat. Good. Hold. So we have beginner. Now, down again. Hut. Yeah. Huh. Holding. Even close eyes. Oh. Thirty second hold. Jot down low here. Move body to the side. Even here. Concentrate body side to the side here. Keep holding, 15 seconds, go. Yeah. Hold, hold, there you go. Body here. Put energy into hand here. Good, here. Up. Body here, hold. 10 seconds, hold. Here. Hold. And back up. Very good. Come. Good. Okay, check in for sweat. Yeah, very good. Okay, one more break. Come. Come on. 